Hello everybody, welcome to the video. So today we're playing on CC4 today. See you on the screen, playing tremendous game. This is Sonic the Hedgehog. Not technically the right case, not the right system, but this is a marvellous game. Streamed it once just before Christmas and it's absolutely fantastic. I thought, why not? Let's do a long play today. Sonic the Hedgehog, CC4. Let's go. Okay, so the game is a Sonic the Hedgehog, 901 side scoring platform video game, and companions with the 16 bit Sega Genesis game of the same name for the 8 bit Game Gear and Master System consoles. The 8 bit Sonic is similar to its 16 bit predecessor but reduces the complexity of the 8 bit systems and released through Sonic game compilations and Nintendo's Virtual Console. And in late 2021, for the C64, it is absolutely outstanding, and the Game Gear and Master System versions are the versions I've played the most. I played those absolute death, however, I've also completed it quite a few times on the Mega Drive, but this is also very good, I cannot fault it. Of course, it's Sonic the Hedgehog, you all know the rules of Sonic the Hedgehog, go really fast, collect the rings, get one of the rings, get this life. The moment is rolling like there's no tomorrow, but we're going to go for it, and if you get 50 rings, if you didn't, you go to the pinball stage. If you don't, you get the massage. Fantastic, there we go, ended up with three lives. Okay, Act 2. The premise and story of the 8-bit Sonics are identical to that of the 16-bit Sonics. Sonic the Hedgehog and the player must race through the level to rescue the imprisoned animals of the robot that plots to turn into robots. Gameplay is similar as well, Sonic must collect rings while avoiding obstacles, but the pace is slower due to the 8-bit version focusing more on exploration. While some little themes such as the Green Hill Zone are borrowed from the 16-bit version, the rich rules are also there. It features a different soundtrack which consists of rearranged versions of the tracks from the 16-bit version and new material. And it's brilliant, and that is actually a checkpoint, hit that, and if we die, we remain here. And they do have a time limit, the time is going up, not down. However, I believe you get to a certain point, it kills you. Which is quite rare, because 9 times out of 10, that's more enough time. At the moment of time, we do have an orb that allows you to take additional hit. As long as you have wings, you won't die, and you fall into a bottomless pit. They kill enemies by rolling into them, or jumping into them. And 100 wings is your life. They so don't have to get all those, I don't know where all of them are, but if you get them all, you get the true ending. Which I have to admit, I've never actually seen. I know where most of them are. But yeah, got a fresh old brain box upstairs where the other ones are. Now use the plunges to get the high grounds. There's so many cities in this game. But let's try and get to the bonus stage, shall we? You need 50 rings to get you there. But yes, yeah, so there are secrets all over the place. And we've got this, we should be safe from one additional hit. But don't fall into the bottom of the pit. There's so many spikes in this game. Right, so we've got 49. Kill the enemy with that. Fantastic. Right, we've got 57. Don't fall into the bottom of the hole. Now, there's not many in these early points, but you can go into water on some areas and some levels, but sometimes that can also be an instant kill, depending on what one you are on at that moment of time. Right, let's roll, right, let's go tomorrow. Keep going, Sonic. Superb! There we go. 67 rings. Did that 1 minute 40. We got the bonus stage. There you go. Okay, welcome to the pinball bonus stage. This time, time is going down. All you have is one minute. Try and collect, collect whatever you can get along the way. Anything from additional rings, additional lives, even a continue. As long as you do it in the time limit, you'll get it. If you don't, you just move on to the next level. But anyway, it's fantastic. And hopefully, the additional continue should be up here. I'm not sure what the maximum additional continues you can get. Probably quite a few, I imagine. If you keep getting 50 rings per level, you do so many bonus stages. How many there are? I have no idea. But again, the music is sensational. Great memories of this. And of course, this is a different, different bonus stage to the one you get in the Mega Drive. I think I prefer this one. More memories of this one. But anyway, again, the CG4 is coping really well. I'm really impressed with this version. We've got 98. There we go. One additional life as well. We've got a total of four. Let's head to the exit door. The only way you can get on this one is we've got to look at this moustache. So we have 56 remain. We've got additional life though, and I continue. Okay, it wouldn't be a Sonic the Hedgehog game without a boss battle. Eggman has appeared in almost every Sonic the Hedgehog video game since his first appearance in 991 titled Sonic the Hedgehog, and is a prominent character of a media including comics, novels, and cartoons. He made his cinematic debut in the 2020 film adaptation portrayed by Jim Carrey. Eggman has been well received by critics and is one of the most popular and recognisable villains in gaming history. And there he is on the CG4. It doesn't really attack you much on this one, it just moves around a lot. But when he moves down to the ground, attack him with you got. Just move out of the way when you need to. So not too bad this one, but of course, the more he progress, the more skills he has in his possession. There you go. In the main line of video games, Dr. Eggman is a cruel and selfish man who plans to conquer the world to build his own empire. While he has gone through several major and minor appearance changes throughout the series, his game design retained several basic characteristics such as his egg-shaped body, his red, black, yellow clothing, bald head and onesie, and his sunglasses and a large moustache. Eggman comic creates machines and robots, including the wide range of badniks. 
Notably in early games, he has also served as a recurring boss, appearing in almost every level, plotting one of the created vehicles. My lord, that's too to read. There we go. Level 1 is complete. There we go. Sonic has passed Act 3. Okay, next level, next theme. This is the bridge level. It's my favourite level. Also, my favourite soundtrack of the Masters version and Game Gear version. Superb. Now, the Game Gear and Masters version did have a few changes of their own. But certainly not as much as the Mega Drive version. I mean, of course, that is the ultimate version. I've got more memories of the Masters version being the first version I played. But this version is also absolutely outstanding. Now, of course, collect all you can. We've got 38 rings. Now, platforms actually fall beneath you. But like I say, some areas you go into the water and some areas you cannot. This one, avoid it like the plague. Now, we do have the orb, which allows us to take additional hit. And of course, we've got rings. But yeah, falls in the bottomless pit will change everything. Now, if you get 50 rings, you go to the bonus stage. But also, if you get 100, you get additional life. And then you end the stage, your ring counter will go back to zero. And if you end it there, you don't go to the bonus stage. So you've got risk it for when and biscuit. You go for life. Or you go for bonus stages, inside up to you. Now some enemies got killed by rolling into them, and got spiked in their heads. The player jumps between platforms, avoids enemies and obstacles, and breaks television to collect shields, speed shoes, and invincibility, and mark checkpoints. Like the original, Sonic collects rings, which protect him from being hit by an obstacle or an enemy. The player starts a game with three lives and will lose one if he's hit without carrying any rings, drowns, or falls to the bottomless hole. Right, we are 10 away from the next life, and there is the next emerald, which we're going to go and get. To get this, we need a falling platform. There you go, superb. Right, one more. It's life. Fantastic, there we go. Again, a superb level, but again, we didn't get the bonus stage, we've got the life instead. There we go, brilliant. On we go to the next level. Okay, Act 2. Now, in the Master System Game Gear versions, this level, we've got to move with the screen. The screen actually goes at its own speed. You've got to move with the screen. But here, no need. In fact, it makes certain areas a lot more easier because you're not fighting with the screen all the time. Because, again, there's areas which you've got to reach by getting to higher grounds. And you use those to get to higher grounds, like additional lights, for example. But, again, we have 6 lights and now we have 25 rings. But so far, so good. But you do not take your orb to the next level. So that enemy got killed by rolling into him. And those ones got killed by jumping into them. And my TV is going to turn itself off, which you can't see. Only I can. Right. Good thing that happened where well, I wasn't on that platform. Right, checkpoint. Superb. Let's keep it going. Uh, but yes, you can also get the speed boots, which makes you go supersonic speeds, which is fantastic. Not quite as fast as the Mega Drive version, but certainly give it a run for its money. Sonic travels through six levels called Zone, each consisting of two main acts and a boss battle with Robotnik. The zones are based on various themes such as the grassy plains, ancient ruins and the jungles. While some have level themes such as the Green Hill Zone are borrowed from the 16-bit versions, others are like the original. And all have level designs different to the containing of no vertical loops. There you go. Bonus stage. Cue the pinball machine. Okay, bonus stage number two. One minute on the clock. But some of the game's levels require quick position, and others require the player to go underwater. And certain acts have chaos end rules hidden within them. The player must collect all six to retain the best possible ending. At the end of each act, the player hits a signpost which will spin and land on an image, which can be awarding bonuses depending on the image it settles on. If the player hits over 50 rings, they access the pinball stage, where more rings and continues can be obtained. Right, we've got 30 more seconds. I think I've got the additional continue though. I didn't know a lot about it though. 43, 46, 48. There's another life up there. Very rewarding. But make sure you get to the exit, otherwise you don't get anything from it. You just get to move on. That's all you get. Right, 55. Not a lot, but it's better than nothing. Now, each of those plunges will send you at different heights, which make it a bit more difficult for you. But there we go. Ended that with 11 seconds, got 55 rings, and 7 lives. Okay, next boss. In the majority of the video games set in the Sonic the Hedgehog universe, Eggman has served as the main antagonist. Most of Sonic the Hedgehog games released before Sonic Adventures features him as the main boss that the player must fight at the end of the game. Right, so this one takes place on the water, just don't fall in the water. Make sure you land on something solid, not on something watery. Because this one, you have no additional rings. In fact, I don't think you have additional rings on any of the boss battles in this game. 
the four death bullet and then get an additional hit before he leaves. But there we go, again, it's fantastic, it really is good. I cannot fault it. Fantastic. Botnik also appears as a boss who the player must confront at the end of almost every level in most of the 2D Sonic games and the 3D Sonic games. In each game, he makes to see his multiple appearances as a boss. Eggman fights the player using a different machine each time he appears. In most of the 2D Sonic games, the player had to run Botnik eight times in order to defeat him or move on to the next level or boss. A bit like that. Fantastic. There we go. Two emeralds, eight lives, and I continue. Okay, welcome to the jungle. Right, sounds fantastic, looks fantastic. Let's see how we do. Try and collect what you get along the way to make it easy for you. But anyway, this one has water. Some of it you go into and some of it you cannot. But soon, water will not be an issue for Sonic the Hedgehog, but oxygen levels will be. But we're not there yet. Let's see what we can do. Pick up whatever life you can get, including that one. But I have to admit, it's so much better playing this game with a joystick. I'm not a fan of control pads, never have been. But the other days, that's what I have to deal with. But that makes it so much easier. This level has a lot of narrow platforms. But again, collect whatever things you can do. I've got nine lives, I don't know what the maximum is. I'm not sure, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. There's a checkpoint. But yeah, the levels aren't overly really long, really. Yeah, falling down there, rings, or no rings, orb, or no orb, this is some kill. Jump from there to there. And also, a lot of these plunges take you areas you don't want to go. But yes, yeah, so you go in the water here, avoid the fish, but soon, Water won't be an issue, which is the next level, and that's actually probably my least favourite, because it's very slow paced. Right, avoid the spikes. Fantastic. One got away, never mind. Let's jump from there, to there. Fantastic. Just wait for the right time. 76 rings. We need a platform to land firmly onto. Not what I planned, but it will do. Jump from there to there, and there. But yeah, it's quite a jumpy, jumpy sort of level, this one. A lot of areas we can fall into your death. There's another checkpoint. I forgot there's more than one level. But again, it's so good. That was such a tremendous job with this game. It is superb. Part of me was not surprised we got this on the CD4, because we've actually got Super Mario Bros on the CD4, which is also very good. Right, 94. Can we get more than nine? We cannot get more than nine. Maybe you can, maybe it remembers it, I'm not sure. Right, we can use the logs. Don't hit the fish. Okay, drop from there to there. Down there is an instant kill, and so is there. Right, is that it? I think that's it. But again, no bonus phase. We've got eight, even though we ended it with 108. There we go, fantastic. On we go to the next level. Nine levels we have. Alright, here we go. Right, now we have nine lives at the bottom of the screen, but I actually have ten. But Jamie, no more static reading on this level. This one has a lot of difficult jumps. Now, spikes feature here, not only on the ground, but also on the ceiling. As long as you have rings, you'll have a, another hit and you'll live to fight another day. As long as you have rings in possession, you won't die unless you fall into something you shouldn't. But again, with a joystick, it makes this level a lot more easier. This is not an easy level to do. In fact, it's more difficult on the Mars system, but you can force your death a lot more easier on that one. Because the screen will scroll in a certain way, allowing you to not survive if you fall one screen below another. It sort of locks it in place. Right, checkpoint. Right, okay. But yeah, you don't want to fall large distances. And also, enemies don't respawn, which is always good to see. Not all games do it, but it's nice when games do it from time to time. It's a close call, like right, 44 rings. Again, I'm trying to bring the length of this video down to reasonable level, but not collecting everything. That's the plan, Batman. But yes, I'm probably missing a lot of secrets. Rule number one, I want to get this long play done today. There's a life. Fantastic. So we've got 11, even though it doesn't say, we've got 9 here. Again, it's going so well, I'm really pleased. This level is fantastic. Keep it going. Going well. Right, we go to the left section. We've got 1 minute 25. Again, the time is going up, not down. Well, there you go, I'm happy with that, that's fantastic. And we get the bonus today, we've got 52 rings. Fantastic, on we go. Whew. Alrighty, lucky woo, let's go, one more time. One minute on the clock, that can go very quickly. The more we progress into these ones, also, a lot more hazards are going to be in the way, and 
I can make it quite difficult to get around. Because some of these plungers will send you higher than other plungers do. But there's a continue. How does Sonic the Hedgehog not get a headache from this? I don't know. Of course, Sonic Spinball was also a great game as well, which is based on Pinball Machines on the Mega Drive. It was the only version I played it on. I don't know what versions that was released on, I have no idea, but that was the only one I played it on. Right, seven seconds to go, it's going really quickly. We do need some luck, maybe we'll get it, I don't know. Yes! <laughs> Look at that! You can't get any closer than that! Oh my lord! Did that count? I'm assuming it did. It did count! Fantastic! Got three continues and 12 lives, 13 lives now. Okay, right, it's a difficult boss this one. Every time another level is introduced, another weapon is built into Robotnik's inventory. And this one's difficult because basically he drops bombs on you. But the platform you're on is basically like this, so that's what the bombs do. But again, you've got to try and hit him a certain quality of times, but again, no rings here. To avoid those bombs. Leaving the blast can also hurt you, even some time after it's exploded. It hits enough distance between you and the explosion. But using that slope, you can get some really high heights. You really can. But you don't want too many bombs close together. There's another one. Again, it can jump really high. Fantastic, there we go. Brilliant. Time we go to the next level. So he gets his another invention. Hit the button. The one bites the dust. Super. Well done, Sonic Hedgehog. On he goes. On we go to the labyrinth. Okay, welcome to the Labyrinth, my least favourite area of this game. Now, Sonic the Hedgehog is known for going at supersonic speeds, and he does do so, but not in the water. However, water is no longer an issue. But he does have another problem now, because now water is not a problem, but oxygen is a problem. Now, you don't have to be the sharpest tool in the tool shed. When you see a number above your head, you know you're going to run out of air very soon, so you need to try and find an air bubble. Now, plenty of them scattered around. What I tend to do is I try to find two at once. The more, the better. And of course, there are also hazards, not only in the water, but also out the water. And there are some difficult enemies, including the one that's just up here. But there's a checkpoint. But what I'm going to try and do is go up here, let his projectiles go off the screen, and we'll return here, hopefully with more additional air, and then hopefully we'll just do a rolling attack. And that should do it. But yes, a very slow and painful level, this one. But there is a checkpoint. There's a bubble. We should be good to go now. But even jumping can take an absolute lifetime. So now it should be easier. And we're going to roll like in biscuits. Fantastic. Right, we're going to take the elevator. It doesn't all take place underwater, but most of it does. But again, rings are always very handy. But not as handy as oxygen bubbles. But also, don't jump into spikes. Now in the Master System version, they didn't appear quite as often. I don't know if there's any, any set pattern to it. There's one, there's two, that should be plenty. But again, time limit is going up, not down. But yeah, this one is quite time consuming. As long as we get moving, we shouldn't be too badly affected from it. Right, and it makes such a difference when you jump out of that water. You gain this speed again. Right, don't jump on that. We have four, we do that. Right, to there. But again, I think we're there, not too shabby. We didn't get the 50 things though, we didn't drown, that's fantastic, there we go. Okay, Act 2, this one takes place again, the majority of it is underwater, which again is going to slow your character down, a lot. But let's try and find the next Chaos Emerald, now that is actually encased in spikes. Now Sonic the Hedgehog is not immune to spikes, only if you're invincible you go into the spikes to pick up the Emerald. So, we're going to head this way. There are so many twists and turns here, there's so many areas you can go if you want to try and find additional wings. But in doing that, you're wasting your air. So at the moment of time, air is also an issue. So we've got to find a bubble very quickly. But don't be hit by a spike, we can't protect ourselves, we've got no more rings here. So there's one bubble, and hopefully we're going to wait for another one, and we've got to wait for the right time, we don't be hit by a spike. We don't be in any was hit by a spike. There is a checkpoint. Now also, flames to be shot from these mouths. Avoid those. Jump right on the edge. Kill whatever enemies you see along the way. 
But also, not only does he jump very slowly, he also falls very slowly. We've got 24. Now 31, up we go. But yes, you need to get this next Chaos Emerald by being invincible. It's the only way of getting it. Again, we need bubbles. There's one. We'll go with that. I'll jump on the plunger that will hurl you into the air. And up there is actually an invincibility icon. Which is essential for getting the next emerald. And you've got to be quick about it. But again, now we're moving so much faster. So now spikes is not an issue anymore. Use the jumping to gain a little bit more extra speed between you and a few more distances between you and the enemies and their hazards. But it's limited. But hopefully now we can pick it up. There you go. Boom pow. Have some of that. On we go. That's the worst of it over. Again, we did get the bonus stage. 36 is not enough. We got through it. I'm happy with that. Another life. Fantastic. Did that in very nearly two minutes. There we go. 14 lives and three Kenwas Emeralds. Okay, next boss will take a slow walk up to him. The game was re-released in emulated form on several occasions. 2003, Sega released Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut, an enhanced version of the 1998 Sonic game Sonic Adventures for the GameCube and Windows. As the player progresses through the game, they unlock all 12 games released for the Game Gear, including the 8-bit Sonic. The Game Gear version was also released through Sonic Mega Collection Plus 2004, a compilation of Sonic games for the Windows, PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Sega also released the Masters version for the Wii's Virtual Console Digital Distribution Service in Japan and North America in August 2008 and in Europe the following month. The Game Gear version was released for the Nintendo 3DS Virtual Console on the West on June 13, 2013 and in Japan on December 4, 2013. My laws! So no surprise, this battle takes place underwater. So again, it's got some upgrades, but not only am I slow, but his attacks is also very slow. Not a bad thing, I suppose. But anyway, superb. And also, air is not an issue there. No air, no wings. Right, there we go. The labyrinth is complete. Again, we take a slow run up to it, hit the button, and off the screen we go. We've got seals and penguins. And additional life. Fantastic. There we go. Okay, next level is called Scrap Brain. Again, it looks and sounds absolutely fantastic. No water here. In fact, we substitute water for fire and electricity to avoid that like the plague. We have doors and conveyor belts, and again, the occasional life is thrown into the mix, but there is actually a bottomless pit, so don't go into there. Keep running to the hedgehog, and also there are occasional doors which are open and closed by using certain buttons. But again, certain plungers take you to areas you don't want to go, like hazards. Now risk it if you so wish to, I'm gonna avoid it like the plague once again. Avoid the flames, avoid electricity. But yeah, not a very long level this one. In fact, I think that's pretty much it, if I remember rightly. There you go, again, not a lot of rings, but we stayed alive, which is the most important thing. We're off the mark with scrap brain. Alright, probably one of the longest levels of the game. This is Act 2 of the Scrap Brain. This one contains, again, lots of hazards and a little bit of teleportation and also a little bit of planning ahead. We're trying to find a button that opens up a door. Now, not loads of rings on this one, but it's nice to have one on your possession. And also, that is very handy as well. But these conveyor belts do make more jumping and running a lot more difficult. So, get a decent run up to allow you to get to where you want to get to. go one way and some will go the other. No easy task, we're shot at by fireballs right up there. But as long as you roll, you won't get your head burnt off. Right, can we go? Uh, right, that's a secret, we can't get to it yet. So we've got to open it up from the other side. But then lives aren't really an issue here, but we've got to try and find this Chaos Emerald. You do get occasional bottomless pits, but not as many as other levels. A bit low in time, right up we go. Very steep, it's fine. Jump over that one, jump over that one, and fall down this one. There's a plunger, go through the teleportation. It takes us to the next emerald. It should do. There we go, boom pow! That takes us a slight bit closer to where we want to go. However, the last level 
Bubbles were our saviour. Now these little guys were actually attacking with bubbles, bouncing bubbles. So yeah, once a minute they were protecting us. Now we've got avoidable costs. So I open up that door and we're going to just backtrack in. But again, avoid these little dudes, little pigs. Alright, I thought we'd a caterpillar. Um. Do a small jump, not a big jump. There we go, fantastic. One way to get around. Right, again, a little bit of loading time. So now the door is open. I've got to head that way now. Um, don't run like so tomorrow. You're going to run into an enemy. Go down here. Phase one is complete. Phase two on the way. Right, that's interesting. I have got no rings now. That's like a hit, I don't remember. I really don't. Right, run down here, but don't run at full speed. Because those guys are hanging around. Waiting to ruin your day. One stage at a time, take it nice and easy. Slow and steady, which is not one of uh, Sonic's skills. So there. Next one. There we go. I've lost all my rings for some reason. I don't remember taking a hit. Maybe I did, I don't remember. I really don't remember. So again, take it nice and easy. Right, now we can go through here. We've got the Chaos Emeralds. Through the door. Fantastic. And also the timer resets as well. Right, so there, so there. I do put some difficult springs in difficult places. Is that it? I'm not sure. Yes. Fantastic! Again, rings is poo! But never mind, we didn't need them anyway. That's fine. Brilliant. Okay, boss territory. However, it's not an easy task to get there though. We've got these doors. Sometimes with sensors on the left, and sometimes with sensors on the right, and sometimes on both sides. We're on the right side of the door, that way it opens to you. And this one actually has wings and a few additional lights, but I'm going to leave it. So, we go left, right, we've got whatever wings you can find along the way. So there, and we go left, go over the conveyor belt, pick up any more wings along the way, open the door, jump over, jump over the button. Go and find him. Now this one, it doesn't actually attack you. In fact, he actually runs away from you. You got to race and chase him, basically. But yeah, he makes a break for it. Yeah, he lands on the platform, takes him to safety. The platform comes back down. No Eggman. So we go onto the platform and takes us to the final level. And there we go. Short and sweet. There we go. No more sight either. Okay, this is the Sky Base. This one doesn't have a lot of enemies, just a lot of hazards. And judging by the flash of the screen, electricity is one of those hazards. But electricity is not much of a problem, you can sort of see where it's going to go. And you do get a bit of a warning as well. But the, the worst enemy here, or hazard here, should we say, is these guns. I don't think you can actually kill them. But you do get a choice of route, either go the long distance route or the short distance route. But this level does have quite a lot of bottomless pits. Now use the up and down looking feature to get a good look around to see where the die just lie ahead. Um, but yeah, you need an occasional enemy, but I don't think you can actually kill them. Right, so there. But again, lots of bottomless pits. You have him, but he's surrounded by those projectiles. So you know that's not the way to go. So we go down here. Again, have a good look around before you make your move. Down here, down here, and down here. Collect whatever rings you can along the way. Avoid any spikes along the way. Right, 51 rings. It's fine. Up there. But yes, you're not actually affected by electricity until the screen actually flashes. When it's not flashing, you can actually jump through it. Jump from one platform to the next. Don't be electrified in the process. Should be okay though. Right, uh, here, here, again, it's absolutely spectacular, really is good. Again, more moving platforms. It's fine. There we go, boom and pow! Ended up with 56 rings, but no people machine this time. There we go, on we go. 
Okay, Sky Base Act 2, they are this way. Retrospective reviews of the games we released on Virtual Console were likewise positive. They wrote that although it's not as visually appealing, fast, and ambitious as the 16 bit predecessor, the 8 bit Sonic the Hedgehog was still a competitive game in its own right, with unique level designs and managed to retain the feel of the original. Nintendo Life believed it was one of the best platformers for the Mars system, felt it was an interesting piece in the Sonic franchise history, and found the Game Gear version easy to recommend to those who have played the 16 bit version and were looking for a new experience, and for those who are just starting to play Sonic games. They said it's short but sweet, and the searching for Chaos Emeralds added replay value. GameSpy reviewing the Sonic Mega Collection Plus felt the 8-bit Sonic and Sonic Chaos were the series only Game Gear installments were worth playing. Right, now this actually has two parts, a difficult route or an easy route. However, the easy route, yes it takes quite some time to get there, but it doesn't reward you with a Chaos Emerald. But of course, there is also that chance of falling to a bottomless pit. But there we go, jump through the chain. There you go, short and sweet. The other way is much quicker. But also a lot more difficult. Go for the door. Okay. A little bit loading time, it's fine. That takes us to the next exit. So again, very short and sweet. We're not gonna get any bonuses there. No rings on this one whatsoever. Or we're just getting them like that for the sign post. So we're using ten rings. Okay, here we go. The final conversation from good and evil, Sonic the Hedgehog versus Eggman. What we're trying to do here. Break the glass. I can't remember how many hits it takes. Quite a few, I mentioned. Yeah, you've got to watch the fireball from the top. And of course, that electric. If you're lucky, you can get two hits. If you're quick. Doesn't help with that fireball, though. Slight change to the sequence. Don't want to be electrified. Oh, but you made it was! That just goes off randomly. Duh! Right. Right patiently. Stay over here with safe. Here we go! Chase him! Track him down! <laughs> go for it! No, we didn't! Unfortunately, he makes his escape, unless you have the true ending, which I haven't because I forgot to get all the chaos in I missed one in the jungle somewhere. So, we go through there, we're not going to get the true ending, but it is an ending nevertheless.
There we go, back to the main menu we go. Superb game, Sonic the Hedgehog on the CD4. Hope you enjoyed it, it's Jamie Warner's game. Please like the comment, share, please be a fan channel, please a fan page, please around on Twitch, let's play Warner's games, you find it fairly easily. Please remember to hit the bell icon. Now, don't forget to visit low, but fantastic. We're not doing digital videos, we're on Bezzet Cheats, hope you're making a live stream is a Friday night, you can sign Bezzet Clocks, how about weeks. So, some dizzy. Ciao, bye, see ya. Right, so where's this mystery Chaos Emerald? Where's the one I missed? There's rings there. I guess it's over here somewhere. Ah, lock. Okay, run along lock. Oh, I remember now. I remember. Yes. There you go, we've got it now. Yes, I'm playing it through again. I want to get the true ending. Okay, here we go again, but this time Sonic Hedgehog has got all six Chaos Emeralds. Well, we've got to do this difficult boss battle again. Eggman, Dr. Robotnik, also known as Jim Carrey. The trouble is, my food is cooking in the oven as we speak. I'm going to burn my dinner. Right, difficult attack patterns. But yeah, hopefully we'll get the true ending. I've never actually seen the true ending before. Too close. Alright, take the glass. Get out of there. We're safe over here. I don't know how many times you've got to hit him. I can't remember from last time. Quite a few. Ugh. I'll jump over that. Should be okay now. Again, safe over here. Drop in the fireball, make you move. There you go! Now I'm tracking you down with all six Carol Emeralds. What's gonna happen this time? Jump through. There we go. There we go. Headphones is falling apart, literally falling apart. Needs new headphones. Okay, so the game is Sonic the Hedgehog, a 991 side scrolling platform video game. Companioned with the settings for this. Uh, it's 8 bit Game Gear version of Master. Oh, the 8 bit Sonic is similar to its. <laughs> Okay, so the game is Sonic the Hedgehog, a 901 side scrolling. That was my phone. And my PC. All happened at once. Where's my phone? Up there. The 8 bit Sonic Simmons stars its 16 bit predecessor, but reduced the complexity to fit the 8 bit systems and was later released through Sonic game compilations and virtual console. <laughs> this is not going to be easy, baby. Okay, so the game is Sonic the Hedgehog, a 901 side scrolling platform video game, and the. 